So today is the second pattern, picking pattern that we're going to learn, the finger picking um, in the top 10 picking patterns that I think are important for you to learn if you want to learn how to finger pick and then you can go on to whatever style that you want in the future. Um, take a look at that first lesson if you want to uh, learn the uh, difference between your options and finger picking but I do mention in the first lesson that you want to use your fingers in order to finger pick first you can obviously go into thumb pick to use a thumb pick in the future or use a pick so you would call that flat picking with your pick if you're gonna pick a pattern with the, the pick itself and you're gonna finger pick with your fingers and then you're going to use a thumb pick potentially and use your fingers uh, for the uh, first, second, and third strings if you wanted to do it that way, possibly even using your fourth finger if you needed to on your right hand. So again, when you're practicing these picking patterns and you're having trouble with uh, playing this, you need to isolate the actual hand that you're using that's most important. So I might even isolate, take away the left hand with your figuring out what the chord is and practice just the right hand picking this picking pattern. So the second pattern is a 3-4 time pattern, which is a little different. We did a 4-4 time pattern last week. 3-4 time basically means there's three beats um, in a measure, and a measure is, is what makes up um, uh, different types of music, different beats and tempos. Uh, so we're going to play 4-3-2-1-2-3, which is the first section of this new picking pattern. So it's going to sound like this. Four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three. And we're using our thumb, our third finger, our second finger, and our third finger. One and two and three and one and two and three and. So we're playing eighth notes if we're going to see this written on a three, four time uh, music notation or say we're going to see it written in a. Um, strumming pattern, progression. Or in some sort of pattern progression. So practice with that and go slower. It's gonna, so it's gonna be thumb, one, two, three, two, one, thumb with your right hand. Thumb, one, two, three, two, one, thumb, one, two, Plugging the four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, like that. Make sure that your thumb is not too close to the first finger, like this. That makes it harder to pluck these strings. You want to be able to have your fingers as close to the strings as possible, um, and not have your thumb and your first finger conflicting with each other, really being close. Your thumb should you should pick this uh, with the side of your thumb. So four, three, two, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three. Always start with picking patterns with your fingers, and then you can get into flat picking, which is a lot of fun in my opinion. So okay, so now we're gonna move this to the five string pattern, which is gonna be five, four, three, two, three, four. So we're just moving all of our fingers down one string from the fourth, four string pattern. So we went four, three, two, one. Now we're just moving everything down a string to five, four, three, two, three, four. And the only thing we do when we switch to the six, core, six string pattern is we move our finger, our bass note. So six, four, three, two, six, four, three, two, three, four. So we can go back to the fifth string Six string like that if we wanted to. Five, six. But I'd probably play each one four times before you switch to the next one. So you might start with the four string pattern. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last time and then switch to the five string pattern. metronome if you have one which will keep you on tempo so 
it would sound something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you're, you hear that I'm plucking a, a note every, uh, every half beat. So it's going to be eighth note. And three, and one, and two, and three, and I'm clapping on one, two, three, one, two, three, snapping on one, two, three, three. That's how your metronome will keep tempo with it. So it's three beats like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and. So that's how you isolate the pattern. Once you get your fingers in on the left hand, it's going to sound more like this. Four, three, two. If I'm playing the D chord, three, four, down to C for the five string. If I can do it right. Five, four, three, two, three, four. And then G for this last one. Six, three. Six, four, three, two, three, four. Third time. Back to four string. Five string. So just work on the things that I talked about. Make sure your thumb is uh, about a quarter of a width, the same size of a quarter, that much space uh, in between. So you have space between your first finger and your thumb, the tip of your thumb. So your thumb has got space in between those two fingers, so you can play like that. And then um, make sure that you're playing on the side of your thumb. Uh, also isolate the right hand if you need to. Um, that's a 3-4 time pattern, so it'll be a little bit different sounding than if you were to play it with a 4-4 time pattern, but that's a lot of fun. And we'll do uh, the third pattern in the top 10 most important picking patterns that you need to learn when you're learning how to finger pick. And it'll allow you to play in different styles in the future, and you can add um, a few elements to your finger picking if you'd like afterwards. But these are the top 10 that I suggest you learn to get started, and everyone should know if they want to finger pick. Um, and again, this is the uh, starting point to get to where you can play uh, in, the, in finger picking, flat picking, or with the thumb pick. I would suggest you start with finger picking as it's uh, more rudimentary, you can get the basics, and then move on to the type of picking that you want to be involved in and playing. Alright, thanks for watching.